When you're going on a holiday, there's nothing worse than getting sick, especially when you're in a foreign country. However, there are certain steps you can take to avoid or decrease your chances of getting sick. So tell me, Matthew, what should be included in a travel kit? Um, well, if you take a leaf out of my book, you'll be traveling with a second suitcase or <laughs> <I'll> take, <laughs> drugs. A, take a bit of everything, not, not, not but drugs. <laughs> probably not recommended. Um, Stick to the basics really, I mean it's, it's important to have a, a really a simple or basic first aid kit so if you know you've got any cuts, bruises, abrasions, stuff like that you can easily treat those, there's nothing worse than trying to um, find, you know, find, find something for a overseas. blister or whatever it is when yeah. you're travelling and excited to see new things and stuff like that and you're just uncomfortable so um, a very basic first aid kit would be a good start. Um, things to help with pain or fever, uh, inflammation, that kind of stuff is important as well, again you know nothing worse than trying to get around and, and um, explore places or see new new destinations and have headache or pain or fever you've got to deal with. So something simple, paracetamol, ibuprofen, whatever is um, best suited for you and we can help with, um, with that. Um, something like that in, in your um, travel kit is, is really important. Um, a probiotic is good to take with you as well, but generally when you're moving around, water you're drinking might be different, food you're eating might be different. So a probiotic is quite is handy to have uh, when you're traveling as well, just to keep the gut flora in check. Um, sometimes there are things when you're traveling that might upset your stomach and, and cause um, you know travelers diarrhea, vomiting, nausea, that sort of stuff. So a probiotic can help a little bit um, with some of those issues as well. Um, they're probably the main, the two, the two really key things. Travel vaccinations are important to make sure you get done. So speak to your doctor or pharmacist about that. Um, more so for overseas travel, but um, you know, just keep that in mind as well. Um, a few other bits and pieces that you might want to look at too, sunscreens, um, you know, some sort of like nasal inhalation, whether it's a decongestant or a saline spray just to help refresh the nose, eye drops, things like that, particularly if you're, if you're traveling on planes or um, buses or things where, you know, where, the, where the air is dry and air conditioning a lot mm. particularly, um, just to help keep you, keep you fresh. Always stay hydrated, so oral rehydration, whether it's in a um, a effervescent, yeah, like yeah. Hydrovi- hydrolyte or something similar, like an effervescent tablet or sachet, yeah, it's easy to handy. carry around. Yeah. Really good to pop in a water bottle and drink during the day um, because it's very easy to get dehydrated when, when you're on the go. Um, there's nothing worse than that, and they can yeah, you know, make you really tired, and lethargic, and stuff like yeah. that too. So and then if you get, do you get diarrhea or vomiting, you, you can, can use that as well. Yep. Yeah, there are some other medications that you can talk to your doctor about bringing if you are concerned about um, infection. Um, um, upset stomach, things like that. So you can talk yeah, to your doctor about it. Yeah, gastro stop is something you can you can take with you as well as to help um, with any diarrhea issues. Nothing's better um, than explosive diarrhea when you're on holiday. Yeah, that's not what you want to take with you, that's for sure. <laughs> um, and there's other, other medication you can talk to your doctor about that they might um, be willing to prescribe that we can um, put in your travel kit as well. Yeah, like that Maxalon. Covers, yeah, those types of things yeah. for nausea, maybe perhaps an antibiotic, a broad spectrum of you know, um, antibiotic for different infections depending on where you're traveling to and yeah and what the risks are so um, but there's a couple of key things you should always have yeah i love it so is there anything in like this specifically could be included for children as well yeah um also a probiotic obviously um all the other essentials that i mentioned things for pain and fever yeah, so are children's important pa- children's pa- uh, a little syringe to help dose particularly for little ones um, that's always a thermometer is a good one to have as well and um lots of band-aids yeah and also things for skin irritation you know yeah, maybe you like know, a like a dead old cream, or like cream that. antiseptic yep. cream those types of things for little cuts or or um or dermatitis or those types of things that might happen bites and stings like a local yeah. anesthetic kind of cream as well and maybe an air guard or something like yeah, that too to help it really depends on where yeah. you're going but that's right It'll, that'll vary but we can help you design something as well if you've got any questions just based on what destinations you're looking at traveling to so what about travel vaccines because obviously some mm-hmm. countries that we uh, travel to we need travel vaccines yep. as well yep um the australian government's got a great list of travel vaccines that you should um, review talk to your gp as well about what travel vaccinations you should be considering uh, depending on the areas that you're traveling to and you can um, do them in pharmacies pharmacy can get involved in some of those vaccinations as well if need be yeah so there you have it by taking a travel kit on your holiday uh, you can feel safe knowing that the few things that you've got uh, you know are ones that you've used in Australia I know that we've been over in the US and we've gotten bright pink Panadol, which hypes up your children, which is just never any good. So definitely take your own Panadol. Um, But then it makes you prepared for any complications that may arise during your trip, because it always happens in the middle of the night and you might be in a foreign country where they don't speak your language and it's tough. So 
take your own. Just as long as um, Matthew, lab they label it all, so you'll be fine. You can get yeah. through. They won't take it off you. They might test it to check it's actually pun at all, but you know, that's fine. You'll get through customs, it'll be no problem. <laughs> uh, so head into Kalana and stock up on your travel essentials and be sure to get your travel vaccines six to 12 weeks before departing Australia as well.